Well, g'day, flatties and globe defenders. It's Critical Think from Down Under. I came across this from Randy just yesterday and I thought that I should address it since uh, I could do so fairly easily. So there's a this lovely picture taken from a satellite of the moon and the earth and um, Randy says, can anyone see the problem here? If FT, FE and co are going to rely on images like this, then there really is no hope for the Globers, says the Flat Earther. I mean, come on! And then posted again later the same day. Just when I thought Globers could not get any more unintelligent, I posted this image early and none of the regular trolls could find anything wrong with it. I kid you not. Well, there's nothing wrong with it, so... It's not surprising at all that anybody could find anything wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it! Have we really descended so low as to not be capable of reason thinking? Yes, Ranty. Have you descended so low as to be not capable of reason thinking? I'd ask the same question. So let's hear what the flatties have to say. It's really funny. The deception doesn't doesn't stop there. I mean, I posted an image twice today on my on my um, on my YouTube feed, you know, for everyone to have a look at, because I couldn't believe the first time that the Globers just didn't see what was wrong with the blood. Because there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> the image, I mean, it was ridiculous. I had to actually put it up a second time and say, I can't believe Globers actually don't understand what's wrong with this image. At first glance, <laughs> uh, all I, I, could, I could see that there was probably a mismatch, maybe with uh, the size of the moon, the light source didn't match. The geometry didn't look quite right as that being the edge of a sphere. Those the, are good, valid points, Carlos. The moon is not that close, and it's not that big. Right? It's just no way. And the source says this is a real image. And I yeah, say that's so, bullshit. Maybe it's yeah, composite. So, okay, listen, just, okay, listen, just think about what we've, what we've seen from the Apollo missions. When, when the Earth is seen from the surface of the moon, the Earth is very, very small. Look at the scale here. If you were on the moon looking at the Earth, would the Earth be big or small? <laughs> uh, Travis just doesn't understand Zoom, does he? Yeah, no, he's had problems like this before. Never has understood it. Anyway, um... I've made the accusation in the past that flat earthers don't understand optics. I think this is um, good evidence for that statement. A flat earther could never have invented this because a flat earther doesn't understand optics. Fuck off, you prick. What a... Uh, <laughs> you what absolute prick. Yeah. We understand optics very well, thank you very much. Well, if you understood optics very well, then you would understand that uh, this particular picture of the moon, the moon is um, zoomed in rather than too close and too big. Now this picture I took a few days ago and I got another picture I took this morning and this picture is zoomed out so the moon appears smaller and further away. So zoomed in, zoomed out. So it's really embarrassing that I have to actually go over this. Don't you flatties understand Zoom yet? Zoomed in looks closer and bigger. Zoomed out looks smaller and further away. And even this one that's close to the horizon appears a little bit bigger than normal because that's the illusion. The moon does appear bigger when it's close to the horizon. So there you go, you can't just rely on your eyeballing something, especially when you don't know the zoom factor. So here's another zoomed in photo of the moon. Looks real close, doesn't it? And bigger. This one I took this morning. And a bit difficult to get good focus because the atmospheric conditions, and I was in a hurry to get this because it wasn't there for very long, a couple of minutes at the most. And I managed to capture that just as it was setting over the mountains in the distance. There you go. The moon looks a little bit bigger than normal, doesn't it? 
Well, maybe you could tell us what's right with it. How about you do that? Okay, I'll go right ahead and tell you what's right with it. So this particular picture comes from this website. It's this satellite, uh, Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellites R Series, G-O-E-S-R. Now, of course, you flatties, because you're flat earth believers rather than scientists, would like to claim that all of these pictures are fake. Um, yet you have no evidence that they are fake. If you're going to claim they're fake, you're going to need to do a lot of work to back up this claim. So this picture down here is one of these. It's also featured in another web page. Uh, in the these these pictures are color composite images. The satellite has a number of scanners and they can combine the images from the scanners in any way. That doesn't make it CGI, that just means combination. So in this case composite means combination. It doesn't mean a CGI as a lot of flat earthers like to claim. So this particular picture is labelled Moon from Geostationary Orbit and it was taken in January 15th, 2017, while they were trying to calibrate and set up the camera on this particular satellite. So they used the moon for calibration. So, let's just check a few more facts about this picture. So I found this picture that's high res, it's 1500 pixels wide, and then I started to do some pixel counting. In this particular picture, I've I've measured the pixels. I put a circle where the moon is there, so to help me count the pixels. And I've got 295 pixels is the width of the moon, as and also the height. It degrees, and then we know that the moon should be a certain angular size, and that means that we can work out the angular size of this red line here, which is the width of that horizon in that picture. So, measuring the angular width of the horizon, on the 15th of January 2017, the distance to the moon was 380,603 kilometers. The radius of the moon is known as 1,737 kilometers, so the angular size of the moon on that day was 0 0.523 degrees. Now the pixel width of the moon was 295 pixels and measuring that red line, the pixel width of the horizon in that photo is 1743 pixels. So the angular width of that horizon is 0 0.523 divided by 295 and multiplied by 1743 and that gives us 3.08 degrees. So in this picture Given that the size of the moon is about 0 0.5 degrees, then that width of that horizon is 3.08 degrees. So then, where do we go from there? We go to Walter Bislin's calculator, and there he has a horizon calculator. And we put in 3.08 degrees. The height of the geostationary satellite is 35,786 kilometers. And we get what the curve of the horizon should look like for 3.08 degrees. Now we have to scale that slightly so that it matches 1,742 pixels. And of course, I've done that with the uh, good old blink test. And I'll bring that up. So I've tilted the picture so that the horizon is horizontal so my red line is about horizontal there's the moon above the horizon and if we bring in the horizon there so you can see that the calculated horizon which is what the horizon should look like given the height of the satellite and the field of view 3.08 it works out to be not exact, but really, really close. So I really have to ask, 
what's wrong with this picture? If you've got a camera and you zoomed in on the moon, then it's going to look like this. Given the size of the Earth that it is, given the height of the satellite, it's going to look exactly like this. What's the problem? Now, I know you've discussed other things about you cannot believe that the light is right and everything, but, you know, that's very difficult to tell. I want to see evidence, 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 evidence. You don't have any yet. I've given here some very powerful evidence that this matches reality. And, I mean, why would anyone bother to go to this trouble to put up a fake picture like this just because there's a few nutcase flat earthers out there? This is a great photo. Sorry you flat earthers cannot enjoy it, but we will. <laughs>